In today's tutorial, we're learning how to create this really cool zoom effect where you zoom out through the letters, which is pretty neat effect. I'll also teach you how to do the reverse and you can actually zoom in through the letters and go for the picture overall, which is pretty cool. So let's jump into PowerPoint to see how we do it. And we're starting from a blank slide. First thing I want to do is want to go to layout and make it entirely blank. Next, I'm going to add a nice image to the slide and paste it on the screen. I'm going to crop and adjust the crop marks so now we can make the picture fit the entire screen. Just gotta position it slightly upwards. I think that looks nice. Now we want to add a shape on the slide, so go to shapes and drag a rectangle across the entire screen. I'm going to fill it with a light color and give it no outline. Now we want to go to text boxes and drag one on the screen. Here we type in, for example, New York City NYC, center it in the middle, and you can see the text font is maximum 96 but we can always increase it just like this or maybe just type it in yourself 350 press enter and that will do the trick as well i'm going to use the font montserrat and black and then just expand it so it fits on the slide nicely the color doesn't matter just yet what i'm going to do now is i'm going to select the rectangle first hold shift and select the words that we have made now go to format shape merge and subtract and this will create a cutout of the letters in the text which is quite nice format shape go to shape options and then we want to go for the shadow tab and maybe add like a little bit of a drop shadow so we see those lines nicely add a bit of a blur so it's like a paper cutout that you create through this which is pretty neat now we can animate it in two ways the normal way or the reverse way so i'm going to show you how to do both so we create a duplicate and the normal way is we start from the letters and we zoom out so we scroll backwards, we use this toggle here all the way to the end, and then we hold shift and alt or control and increase it until the slide is like fits in that cutout that we have created. And once we have that, we go to transitions and morph. And if we then play this already, we can see that we start from a nice opening slide. And as soon as we click, it will nicely zoom into that part. Now, a little trick that we can add is we just crop this image and we want to zoom in just a bit further. That really gives that extra dynamic touch to your slide. It doesn't have to be a lot, but just that little zoom will do the trick. And if we then preview it, and we have this nice starting slide, but as soon as we click, we zoom into the letters and also the picture shifts a little bit, which I think is pretty neat. Now, if you want to do it the reverse way, what you can do is you just duplicate the first slide and drag it behind the second one. Don't forget to apply morph. And if we then start from this position here, we start from the image. And as soon as we click, we sort of zoom backwards a little bit and we get that zoom out effect, which is also pretty nice. Now, the way you can transition to new slides, for example, is if you just have a regular content slide and we do content slide, add your title here and some text. Of course, you want to lay out this a bit more. Right click format background and give it the same color as that previous one I think we used. So the same color. And then, for example, we use a fade transition or we use a push transition to nicely connect it to the content. So that really does a trick if you want to animate it. So thanks a lot for watching the video. If you want to learn more about PowerPoint or if you want to follow a 30 day program that will really teach you all the fundamentals of slide design so you can turn any slide for any occasion into a great looking impactful presentation, then I have a course for you and you can buy it via the link in the description below. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video.